Hello people, back again uh, with the saxophone, um, yeah you're probably getting bored of me doing this now but um, I'm trying to do a, a kind of weekly thing uh, to see uh, how much I'm progressing with it and I'll be honest this week um, I felt a little bit stagnant, um, I don't, felt, don't, felt, don't feel like I've learned an awful lot, um, I've been doing little riffs and things and just trying to sort of you know, get my scales right and I'm just trying to get a feel for the saxophone and trying to get an ear in for you know what each button sounds like so I can hopefully progress but yeah, it just feels like I've plateaued a little bit at the moment um, I've been honing the, the things I know already um, but I'm getting to the point where I'm, I'm going over things again and forgetting stuff um, anyway let me just show you what I've done we'll do Careless Whistler first of all because um, obviously that one's probably the one I've done the most I've been trying to learn so much, I'm probably doing too much at the moment to be honest, but right, let's let's give Careless Whisper a go. Ready? <laughs> Baker Street as well, is it all on learning? Let's see if I can mess this one up too. Ready, here we go. Not bad. Now another one I've been learning this week. <laughs> And this is this is a weird and wonderful one. It's got a lot of strange key presses that I'm trying to get into my head. Um, destination unknown. Ready. <laughs> That's about as far as I got with that one. That's a weird one though because I've got to hit the um, flat sharp whatever key it is that one as well. So you kind of got you got to go all the way up and down. Uh, another one I've been trying to do is Tequila by the Tramps, and I really not the Tramps, um, Champs, and I really can't get this one. So it kind of goes. Or something like that. Yeah, I know it's rough, really rough, but I've just started it. Um, what was the other one I was messing about with? Uh, let's see if I can remember this one. Nightboat de Cairo? Madness. This is the reason I got the saxophone in the first place. Hold on. I've got to remember this. I think I'm going to cop this up. <laughs> for tonight because I'll be honest it's giving me a headache but um, yeah I'm, I'm still practicing still messing about with it um, am I getting better I'm not seeing any signs of it yet but I mean it's what four weeks in um, and I'm getting tunes out of it so I suppose so what can you do I'll keep with it for a little while um, I'm still having trouble with reads I, I really can't find a read that suits me. I can't find one that I can get position right. Uh, this one's a synthetic one at the moment and it's it's okay but every now and again it just uh, just doesn't like me but it's it's the mouth you know um, I've seen a lot of clips online that says I'm gonna figure out what they call it now somebody will remind me in the comments I'm sure but there's, the, there's a, a term for how your mouth blows the saxophone and, and the muscles in your mouth have got to work and they've got to um, get accustomed to how to play it um, and it does make a lot of difference, you know, if going from to and it's very easy to go even without the octave key on octave key on. I mean if you're supposed to blow it without the octave key, you're supposed to be low. Like that. But without putting it on, I can get 
can go high as well. So it's weird. Anyway, this is me learning and me waffling as well. So whatever you're doing YouTube, have a great time and um, I'll catch you later.